Hey guys, welcome back to all of you Windows users. And uh, many of us use Windows 11 as example, but the thing that we definitely don't like is that nowadays Windows comes bloated with all sort of different applications. As example, the Microsoft Teams here. And if it is just your home computer for playing games and doing some random stuff, most likely you don't even want to have Microsoft Teams. And also we worry quite a lot about uh, privacy and we don't want to send all the telemetry data to the Microsoft and we don't want to have just overall bloated Windows experience and uh, all of the widgets and all of the stuff. So is there a way to disable all of that stuff magically? Yes, there is. And a beautiful way how to get rid of all that stuff is basically using the Win Util tool by Chris Titus Tech. And this has been quite around, uh, quite for a long time available for the Windows 10 as well. And right now for the Windows 11. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to set it up and uh, all the magic that you can do inside it. So basically the installation is done through one single command, IRM and link and IEX after the pipe. But we're to run it, we need to run it in a PowerShell. So uh, what you need to do is go to the start type Windows PowerShell and run that as administrator. That is going to open this window where only thing that we need to do is really just copy this. If you want to uh, run a stable branch and uh, it is recommended and I as well, if you are not familiar with everything that is happening around, would recommend to go uh, with a stable branch, not with a dev tools, uh, go back to the PowerShell and just uh, let me see how can I copy paste this. There we go. So copy paste the command, click enter. And this is going to take some seconds of the time before this is going to be installed. And then the beautiful screen is going to open up. Uh, there it is. It's a bit out of focus on my monitor, but OK, it confused me a bit. But still, uh, the main idea remains like we have uh, this console open in the background where all of these commands were actually going to be happening. So what we have is different uh, screens. We have install tab, tweaks, config updates and micro wins. So as example, what we can do right away, we can install the browsers from here. So if you just uh, deploy the clean installation of the windows, uh, you can install as example, Brave Explorer or Chrome or Chromium or whatever, or even Tar right from this utility same for communication so same for development so kind of you're setting up from the scratch you have all the most popular tools available right from this screen if you want to um, uninstall then we need to let me try to search it there we go communication teams uninstall application this will uninstall the following application as example the microsoft teams I don't need it on this computer at all. So the uninstall is in process. Uninstall have finished. That's it. That as easy as it is. You just search what you need, install it, search what you don't need and uninstall it. If we go to the tweaks, there's a lot of different uh, checkboxes. And as example, if we're looking for telemetry, disable telemetry. Just tick this, run tweaks. And we see that this is running in the background, running script. And tweaks are finished. There we go. We don't have any telemetry on our Windows anymore, right? If you want to see some else, dark team for Windows, there we go. Just one check. Nomlock enabled or disabled on the start on the startup. Uh, new Outlook, sticky keys, all sort of different configuration. Same applies for the config, like if you want to set something up, you can do this through this utility, uh, updates and micro wins. So I, I personally believe like the first two tabs are really all you uh, want to have to set your Windows 11 up and do all of the tweaks like deep load brave, uh, run this cleanup, uh, what else, uh, disable game DVR. Uh, create a restore point and each of these also has the question marks where you can read what this actually does so that's kind of it uh this is super cool tool all the all the credits to the chris for creating it and main, maintaining it for quite a long time i hope this will be helpful for you guys thank you for watching don't forget to smash that like button and see you guys later